That, ladies and gentlemen, the first cars already starting up their engines. I've got Steve Fox here right next to me. Steve, what do you reckon? What kind of performance are we going to see here in the finals from these four cars? Well, all three of these cars are design finalists, or three out of the four design finalists, so they are the top-notch cars here. As we've discovered in the past, the best performing cars are always the design finalists. So I predict RIT is going to set a blazing pace. I think Munich could be right behind them. And uh, you always got to watch out for global formula racing. Those guys are just on fire this year. Thank you, Steve. So and all four cars are revved up their engine and lined up, ready to go. So ladies and gentlemen, the finals are going to be open in just a couple of seconds. And car 21 is out. Global Formula Racing, Oregon State is out on track. And next up we have car number five from RIT. Big applause there. Next car is up, I think it's TU Munich. Car number seven, and it's coming out. Very nice looking car, if I may say so. And they're about to send the fourth car out. That's car number 17 from Oxford Brooks. And car 21's come out, final right hand corner onto the straight with their nice aero package. Let's see what their first flying lap time is. Just over the start finish line. That's a 46.8, a new record. Oh my God. And RIT are coming up next. They're just coming down the final straight. Let's see what they can do. And they cross the line. And their first lap is a time of 51.45. They've got some catching up to do. That's a five second difference. I'm not sure if they're going to kick us here. Here comes Team Munich. Well, a 51.43. Clipped a cone on the first slalom. Excuse my language, but I'm a bit excited here with those lap times. And car number 17 comes around the final corner, and they get a first lap time of 52.35. And here comes car 21 on a second lap. 49.09. I think they're actually going to clip the 45 seconds. This is extremely harsh on all the other non aero design teams here. And let's see what RIT do this time round. They're just coming down the final straight again. And they cross the line, 49.23. They're already under 50 seconds. And car number seven, second lap, start finish line with under 50. So they're starting to improve, slowing it fast. So you can really see the 10 inch wheel concept heating up the tires ex extremely more rapidly than all the 13 inch. I think that's also a reason. And here's the third lap from state. And car number 17 have just got and another we're best in the 45.46. 45.56. Oh my god. They're just flying out there, aren't they? Let's see what RIT do. I don't think they can improve that much. 45 seconds is definitely a fast time, but they still get 48.57. And car seven, coming around start finish line. 48.59, so improving again. And GFR is going to overtake Oxford here. Let's go broad back here, so their time's not going to be as fast. Car number 17, cross the line again, 50 point. Uh, 52.15. That will have been because they had to slow down there. So let's see what RIT do this time. And car number five from RIT crossing the line again. 48.37. And Team Munich around the start finish line, see if their laps improving. And another new lap record for Too Fast here. That's very good. But well, here comes car 21. GFR will see if they can again improve on the last lap. And at 45.26, are we actually going to see a 44 lap time here or not, ladies and gentlemen? And that is a big question everybody's asking themselves here. Car number 17 just got another best time for them, 50.38.
And RIT coming round again. They just got their fastest time in the last lap. Did they improve it? No, but very close, 48.46. And here comes car number 17, Munich. 48.03. That's a rev limiter. I think they're getting in there or slip control. And car 21 has slowly reached, I think, its peak with 45 seconds. But who knows? Maybe the 44s are still open. And car number 17 from Oxford Brooks gets the time of 50.44. They're driving very nicely out there. I don't think they're quite as fast as the other others. So let's see what ROT does. They've got their new fastest time, 47.59. That's a new. And car number seven come through, and it's their fastest lap time as well, 47.38. Very well done here. And Oregon, Geo Global Formula Racing are coming through with another 45.29. So very good, consistent performance here from their car. So, what have Oxford Brock's done this time? And they cross the line, they've got a new fastest time, 50.35. So this is an extremely exciting final here. We've and got we'll RIT coming round. Are they gonna beat their time? They, no they don't, but still very fast, 48.80. And too fast, two minute coming through. With another good time, 48. And close behind is, oh my God, another fastest personal best and overall best with a 45-1-2. And they're closing up on car number seven, so that's a three second gap at the moment. So car number 17, they've just come down the final straight and they crossed the line. 53.43, a little bit slower. Oh, we've got car number five. They're looking good out there. Are they going to improve their, their time? Slightly, 48.07. And now we've got fastest car coming around. GFR, Team Munich just clipped a cone. And that's a bit slower there. Looks like Ravensburg's got getting stuck behind Munich. But the distance is closing between Munich and GFR. Very close now. GFR has got to keep their distance and keep that. Oh, and Oxford Brooks is slowing. RAT's catch caught up. They're going to get a blue flag. Hopefully there's nothing wrong. Hopefully there's minor just... problems so they can resolve. And Oxford Brooks pulls to the side. Car number five, RAT, comes past. And they come round to complete their ninth lap with a time of 50.50. And car 21 has just overtaken car 7. Oxford Brooks really struggling here. And car number 7 is trying to get back at car 21. I've just been informed the weird stripes on the drive shafts. They're there to irritate the rear drivers, but so far it hasn't really worked. So who we'll see? Oh. Looks like Oxford Brooks is struggling a bit out there. They're definitely slowing down. Car number 17. Yeah, this is not looking good for Oxford. I think Oxford has gone out. Yep, Oxford at Brooks have stopped. Is that it for them? It's waiting to see from the marshals. Car number five, RIT, come past the line with a new fastest time of 47.37. And Team Munich with a... Slower time now, 49 seconds. And car 21 is catching up with ROT, so I think we're going to soon be seeing another overtake soon. So it looks like game over for Oxford Brooks, unfortunately. The driver's got out of the vehicle. But can we give Oxford Brooks car number 17 a huge round of applause? They made it to the finals of Formula Student Combustion Endurance. Well done, Oxford Brooks.
And car number seven coming over with a very good time again, 47s. And car 21 still chasing RIT, so they're doing a good performance out there, those guys. R18, car number five is still pushing, but car number 21 is definitely catching up. Let's see how far car number 21 gets. And car number five goes over the hill. They're coming down to the final straight. They didn't get the blue flag yet. And they come round. And GFR has just been showed the last lap. And RIT has not got the blue flag yet, so it's very close between those two. Yep, car number five get the blue flag. And just watch how GFR pace through that slalom. You can really see very smooth transition here. Also ROT very nicely through. So these are very well set up cars that you're seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. And car number 21 coming down the final straight. And there's the checkered flag. They're in for driver change. And car number five also get the final lap. And car 21, driver's changed now. So we we'll wish all the best that that's going to be perfect. And Technical University of Munich, 47.52, their last lap. Still keeping well within their good lap times. So let's see how car number five does on their final lap. They're going to go in for driver change now, or shortly. They're just pushing around the last part of the track as they head over the hill and up to the final straight. So both cars are going to be coming into the pits in this lap. And there's the checkered flag. Car number five, RIT, has made half of endurance. Well done. And here comes Team Munich with car number seven. First half, the endurance, all three teams. Well done. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Great performance from those three teams. And now we're going to wait the technical inspection and see if everything's okay with the cars. Big drivers change. And we hope, of course, that all cars will restart without any difficulties. We'll interview the teams after the race. We don't want to make them any more nervous than they are. So. You can see the drivers just briefing each other, seeing where maybe some potential, gaining some more lap times, especially some small hints, maybe gaining some lap times on the car 21, who's now fastest lap time, if I recall, 45.09, which is great. And a big screen from GFR as their car starts up and is the first to go back on track for the second run with the second driver. Out comes car 21. Very, very low set up there. And car 21 did not make use of its full three minute stop. So it just started quicker, said I want to get some more lap times. I think the second driver is really eager to beat those times again to the 44s. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see what can happen here. So, car number seven started up again. Team Munich, they're just head making their way to the line, waiting for the officials to give them the go. And the first flying lap from second driver from car 21. And car number seven, Team Munich are off. They're about just starting their second half of the endurance. So RIT is still in the pit. That's the last car to start. Was well, the second car to pit, so we hope there's no difficulties there. Looks like they're still strapping the driver in. And... Car number seven, too fast, going nicely through the slalom, picking up speed early in the brakes there. And we have a second driver, Dominic. I think the f very good driver, very consistent driving. Uh, the first driver was also very good. And here we have the second lap from car 21 at a 
four. On the first. And the second driver, 49.19. So I hear another engine. It sounds like car number five from ROT are back. They're just making their way to the line, waiting for the OK from the officials. And I think they're just waiting for E21. Oh, no, they get the green flag. Car number five, RIT, are back. Let's see what their second driver can do. And GFR coming around for the third lap. 46.57, again, a second faster. The driver's now gained one second per lap so far. Technical years in Munich, another 47 time now. For timer for them so the driver's really getting acquainted with the track so far so car number five just make their way through the slalom as they head towards the second part, half of the track let's see what time this driver is going to get for their first lap oh GFR just scratching the tarmac with a front wing there and car number five heading down the final straight they're coming around the final turn and their second driver gets the first lap of 50.42. Uh, GFR, second driver of his fastest lap time. Now comes car number seven. Is he going to prove on the last one? Yes, he does. Half a second faster here. So, ladies and gentlemen, these are the three finalists. These are the three potential guys who are going to be on stage at the awards ceremony later on tonight. So it looks like car number 21 is gaining on car number 5. Let's see how close they get before they get to the next over, uh, overlap uh, bay. So car 21 catching up on ROT here. Extremely fast on track. Very good performance on order cross. They weren't too good on skip out and acceleration, so they really have to and car make up five, car some the final good time turn, and points here. Clipping a cone, but... Go over with a time of 52.22. Well, I think with our lap time, GFR have really got their points back that they lost in the other dynamic events, an acceleration skid pad. So we'll see how far the second driver can take this car to its limits. And RIT, short shifting problem there in the long left bend. And R car 21 with second driver's fastest lap time, so 46.23. And car number five, RIT, get a 50.03. And Team Munich here very consistent with 47 times, but they're not managing to get into the 46s. So, car number five, which is heading to the hill. They're about to complete their 18th lap as they come around to the final straight. And car 21, second driver, beats his last lap again with 46.06. Each lap has been faster and faster. And the second driver from RIT, car number five, has gone under the 50 second laps. And the times between ROT and TU Munich, very close. I think the best times on ROT were near to equal to TU Munich with the first driver. Second driver's not performing as good as the first. So here comes car 21, start finishing. Will he? Keep gaining. No, this is his first lap. He cannot improve his own lap time, but still very fast. So, so have car number five improved? Yes, they have. 48.43. And Team Munich with an exact 48 second lap. Very good here. 
RIT catching up again with a 48-4-3. That's good. So, a Munich going to catch up with RIT. Looking like they're getting closer. But RIT is improving lap by lap. And RIT onto the... Uh, sorry. Car 20 was onto the 24th lap. Losing some time there, but RIT is coming through, clipping a cone. And car number seven from Munich crosses the line. They get a fast time of 47.39. So I think we're going to see, soon see Team Munich overtaking RIT if we continue with those lap times. Munich's really pushing out there. Yeah, Team Munich is caught up with RIT, so that's going to be the next blue flag coming up onto long straight. But on the long straight now is GFR. Look breaking like nicely into the quick slalom over the start finish line and... Lap times are starting to decrease. Uh, I'm not sure if the tyre temperatures are over critical now. It's extremely small. Not sure what tyre temperatures, but two and minute overtake RIT. And car number five RIT are on Munich's tail. They didn't like that. So, let's see if RIT can catch up again. Don't think RIT like that, did they, Ali? No, they? they don't. The guy, the driver looks a bit angry. He's pushing it through the slalom. Oh, he made a little mistake there. I think every little error is very critical at this level. And Global Formula Racing are dropping their pace with a 47 second. I'm not sure if these are tactics or if the tires or the driver is getting tired. And car number five, Clipper Cone. It looks like car number seven's got rid of them. And, and it's a new best time for TU Munich with 47.28. Yep, it looks like RAT made a little mistake back there. So let's see if car number seven from Munich can beat their time. They just got their personal fastest of 47.28. And they're heading down around the final pass of the track. And Global Formula Racing just over the start finish line. Another 47 seconds. So I think their peak has already been reached. And car number seven coming down the final straight. And they cross the line and they have a time of 47.23. They're getting faster. They're really firing up now. I think the tyres are on real good temperature now. And I think the last lap is going to be called for car number 21, who's done a sun astonishing and very quick performance here. So, car number 7 are really flying out there. They've lost RIT. And car 21 on the last lap now going, 46-2-3. So probably called off his tyres a bit. And now trying to get the maximum out of the last lap. I think Munich's done the opposite. I think their tyres have warmed up because they're really flying out there. 47.08. Unfortunately, they did clip a cone. Got to wait for RIT to go past. And RIT get a time of 48.82. That's a very good lap time from Team Munich. I think that's the fastest 13-inch car on the track. And we're now on the last couple of yards for car number 21, who have done a very good performance here. 46, 45, sorry, lap times. And it's crosses the start-finish line. And a big round of applause for car number 21, who have done a very, very good performance here in Hockenheim. Congratulations. And, and now we still have car number seven on track. They get the last lap sign. And he's improved again. Five hundredths of a second. Let's see if he can get in the 46ers on his last lap. That's a very good performance. All right, he get a time of 48.88. They are on their 26th lap. So, so far, from our view, I think 
Fastest car, car 21. Second fastest, number seven, so far on the track. So these really are finalists here, ladies and gentlemen. And car number 21, the last two corners, long left here, braking hard over the bump onto the right corner, following onto the straight. The checkered flag is waiting for car number seven to finish its endurance here in Hockenheim. And it crosses the start finish line. Congratulations, Team Munich here. So we've got one car left out there, car number five from RIT. They just completed their 26th lap with a time of 48.74. When they come round next, they're also going to get their last lap sign. Oh, my heart is still beating so fast. This was a really exciting final here. I don't know how you feel, ladies and gentlemen, but this is one of the most spectacular events so far I've seen. So, car number five, just coming through the slalom. And they're headed round the mini hairpin back there. As they come round, they're about to go over the hill. And to the final straight, I see the last lap sign there. The final lap, RIT, I think, ladies and gentlemen, we can give a big round of applause for this car. One of the finalists, last car on track. They got a time of 49.32. Let's see you all cheering, come on. They're pushing it. This is their final lap. They're going to see how well they can do, if they can improve any of their lap times. They've slowed down slightly from the middle of their endurance, but they're still really pushing it out there. Got all the camera crew waiting to take pictures as they cross the finish line. Let's hope they do. And they're heading to the hill. And they're coming round the final, to the final straight. Car number five, our last car for endurance. There's the checkered flag. And it's waving. Car number five have completed endurance. This is, I think, the first ever final where all four cars have completed. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> is that true? Three of the four cars have completed. Well, it definitely is that. Three cars, those three cars, I think we're definitely going to see in the podium tonight towards me. This was very good finalist. And uh, you can really see the team <laughs> enthusiastic, cheering themselves on. Great performance. Congratulations again.